Hi guys, welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. I have a few items here that I want to work on today and I thought I'd bring you along and show you what I'm going to do. Um, first of all, you're probably wondering why does she have this uh, seasoned breadcrumbs can sitting on her table. Uh, we just recently emptied this. I like the circular form of it and I was like, what can I do with it? I do that with all my stuff that I'm getting ready to throw away. I'm like, what can I do with this so that I don't have to throw it away? Sometimes it gets thrown away. Sometimes I think of things to do with it. So um, I'm gonna make a uh, candle holder. I'll insert a picture here somewhere so you can see what I'm talking about because I don't really know what it's called. It's kind of a candle holder that I've seen um, where it's it uh, this would get cut out and it kind of a rounded it will have a lip about that much and then it gets rounded out and cut up here and around the top so it's like kind of a and this part would go away because it's metal um, I may keep I don't know I may actually do it this way because I want the bottom gone so this may end up being the top and so this would all get cut off right around and then down around here and then up around. And then I have this, which is something I've had kicking around. It's nasty, but it's gonna get painted. So um, what I was thinking is I could set this down on there. When I cut it out, I have a little candle and I'm gonna put a little candle in there after I paint it. Um, the other thing I wanna do is take this plate that is, there's no markings on it whatsoever, but it's very chipped up. I don't know if you can see that. All the edges are chipped, even the top actually, top edge is chipped up pretty bad. So what I wanna do is take this cup and um, put these together. So I'm gonna glue it together and paint everything up and I'm going to decorate it primitive style as well. I'm gonna use my E6000 and um, do that. Get all my yuckies off. Let's put it all around. And put it somewhere in the middle there and get it to stay. So we'll set that aside for a minute and just let that sit. Maybe I'll put, that one's kind of heavy, I'll put one of my paints on there just to, to weight it down a little bit. Not that it needs it, but I don't know. So I've never cut these the way I'm thinking, but what I want to do is get rid of this metal top. I'm just using a box cutter. Kinda, I may regret doing cutting that metal piece off. I don't know. I'm just kind of trying to carefully make that look a little bit better. It's gonna sit on there like so. You put your candle in there, whoops, if you have it going the right way. And something like that. Now I've seen them with holes in the back so that like the light can come through. Um, I'm still working that out in my head how I think I may do that. Okay, so I got a couple of nails, one really big one and one really little one. So I thought I would maybe try to do two different ones. I got my dirty <laughs> uh, star, I think it's a star, yeah, star paper cutter. So you can see the little 
a little star shape there. And so I thought, I'm gonna try, but I don't know if my hands will really like me very much, but we're gonna try to, oh, yep, look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. It makes a star shape. So I think I'm gonna do that all the way, you know, every so many, all the way around. It sticks a little bit. There, that's looking really cool. I like that, that adds quite a bit to it. So there, we've got stars all the way around it. Hopefully you can see those okay. Maybe if I do that. See all those stars. And I got all this confetti here. Glue this in so that we have, I think we can just hot glue. I don't think we have to do I don't think we have to do the E6000. I'm just gonna hot glue it down. Yeah, that should be just fine. There, so it's gonna be a little candle lantern and we're gonna stick this guy in here. I'm gonna get a battery and um, once it's painted, we can turn it on and see if I did it right, guys. Okay guys, so I'm using the Waverly chalk paint in ink color, which is a black color from my base on both of my projects. I just did one coat on both and uh, I figured that was enough because I am gonna do some dry brushing also over the top of both of them. Um, I use um, Waverly chalk paint in mineral, which is a light, gray brown tan color and I did a light dry brush with that and then I also did a dry brush with the Waverly chalk paint in white and um, just a light one all over so you still could see the black but I was just trying to give it like a a layered paint look something that you know, it just had a lot of paint on it and it was worn off here and there. So here you can see I did dry in between my um, layers of paint. And this is the mineral that I was talking about. I just dipped it in the paint just a little bit and then uh, dabbed it off and just left a little bit of paint on my brush and just dry brushed all over it on both of those projects. I think they came together really nice once I painted them the base color in black. I really like how they, um, they kind of married each other once I did that. They were two, or each project had two different, totally different things that I was putting together. And once you paint them all the same color, it really marries them together. I really like it. So here I'm doing a little rust color on it without using actual rust. This is a little mixture of, um, let's see if I can remember, pumpkin spice, uh, cinnamon, some cloves, all kinds of different yummy smelling spices that I use. And what I do is mix them together and then take them, uh, take some Mod Podge and put it down to make the whatever spot I wanted on sticky. And then I just sprinkle it over that spot. Here you can see my glue did not hold on my canister. I was tipping it to try and kind of bang off the, uh, the powder, the rust as, as it were. And 
uh, it came right apart on me. So I had to re-glue that later on and I put a bunch of glue around the outside as well, which you're not going to see it, so it really doesn't matter. Um, I did focus on the edges and uh, up near the top because I am going to be putting moss around the different spots on here, um, you know, on each project near the edge, uh, near the insides. So you're not going to really see where I put the glue. And I tried to put some of the rust color um, up higher so that you could see it. So here I'm just drying it off a little bit. Also gluing really heavily around the bottom of that canister so that it would stay. And now I'm working on my teacup and just doing um, again Mod Podge and then just putting the dust over it and then I'm Mod Podging back over it to kind of seal it in so it doesn't fall off or every, anytime you touch it it doesn't um, flake off and make a mess wherever it is. Uh, and it, it's, it dries clear, so it will be fine to just go ahead and put it over it because you'll still be able to see it once it dries. Alright, this is what I'm working with, and I'm trying to decide if I want to work with these. I think I do. So these are the ribbons that I got from Michael's. I went on a, a little haul and I got some Christmas ribbon for like, I don't know, 79 cents or something like that. And um, they were regularly $2.99. So this is a burlap one. And then this one is the black and white checks. Which I thought was pretty cool. So I was thinking about maybe putting these two together, some sort, doing something with it. I'm not sure. We're just playing around. I got some pip berries. We're going to pip it up. I've got my candles I'm going to use and I have my moss. So first I'm going to take my moss. My berries are attacking me here. Let's put them over there. First, I'm going to take my moss and stick them in my teacup. I want it sticking out. And then this is the candle I'm going to use in there. Fits just perfect. Take a little bit out. We're going to use it. So there we go. Make a little nest in the teacup. Do that and then I think I'm just going to go around it like that. I'm not going to glue anything down because this has got the little switch on the bottom to turn it on, which we can just leave on. But I think I'm going to glue some of this around this so when I pull it out it will be on it. Let's get a little bit more. Just going to dress it up a little bit. And there's my handle. I'm trying to keep my handle on one side or the other so that you'll be able to see that a little bit. Kind of not sitting flat. There we go. And then I'm going to give it a little haircut here and there just to, I don't know, make it look better. And then I'm also going to take some and put it around the bottom. So that's why I said don't, don't concern yourself with too much of what's going on except for on the edges. Unless you don't want to do this. I mean, this is what I do, but then I just, I'm going to tuck it right in there. I have my little, my finger thing so that I don't burn my fingers off here. And just tuck it in there 
and then I'm going to go around a little further. Just keep going around. Doesn't take a lot to make it look like it's got moss growing out of it. Here we go. And then you can go around and give it a haircut if you don't want little pieces sticking out like that. I mean, you want some random, but you just keep going around. See, this is quite a clump. Just a little bit random. And um, I think that looks really cool. And it covers up a lot of, if there's imperfections anywhere, it covers it up. And you can also do it in like the little, the little hole here. Um, you know, if you choose. So I don't know, I, I'm not really sure what I wanna do if I just wanna run it. Like take these and just run them around through the hole. If I wanna do just one or the other, go like this. And then do like a, and then just tie them. I don't typically do bowls in my primitive, uh, bows in my primitive stuff. Um, it's usually just knots. Let me take this thing off. It's, it's um, hindering the process here. There we go. So this is gonna be my front. There we go. Just cut them off at an angle so they're sticking out a little bit. And then and then I take my, you know, that's got a little star stuck on it, so that's good. And I don't go too crazy. I gotta play with it a little bit. You could just do this and wrap it. You could just wrap it around the cup. Put your star in the middle of your bow, and you could have that sticking out if you want. And then these are all wired, lightly wired, so you could stick them any way you want, wrap them around, however. You could do that. You could put them in here. You could cut them down so there's not so many. So I'm just taking the, instead of cutting off that long stem thing, so you could do this, put them in like that, and then you could have it like so. And I don't think I'm gonna glue this stuff in there. We're just gonna stick this stuff in here and it fills it in. I'm gonna go around the little candle holder and leave it loose. So it just kind of sticks up, but I leave that hole there for the candle to go in the best I can. It's not want to sit in that hole very good. There we go. So there's that, and then again, you can take more and stick it in there, and you can glue this in if you want to. That's totally up to you. But then I'm gonna take and glue around the edge a little bit, and again, do the same thing with the moss like I did with the cup, and spread it out and just put it on there. It just adds, just dresses it up, and don't worry about the ones that stick out you can get those later. Just a little bit and just stick it on there. I like them when they stick up and go up the container. And I like them when they go out a little bit, but this is a little bit crazy, but we'll just give them a little haircut. But anyway, so basically, you're going all the way around with just a little bit of moss. But that covers up that bottom piece. You can't even see it. You know, just kind of stick that in there and have that star sticking up. So 
that it stays right on there. These kind of spread out a little bit. Well guys, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate you coming and watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.